let's just start with Teddy Bridgewater. Okay, he's the Minnesota Vikings quarterback, and he's done for the season, right? It's it's torn ACL. It's it's awful, right? He's the classic franchise quarterback that was never going to blow you away. We knew that in the combine. We knew that in the draft. We knew that about him in college. He's exactly what everybody said he would be. He's what you thought he would be. He's what I predicted he would be. Arm average, size average, personality quiet. But a lot of his value was in the film room, in the locker room. That's why the players yesterday, when he got hurt, were sobbing and getting sick. Is a lot of what makes a franchise quarterback, you can see. You can see Cam's arm. You can see Aaron Rodgers' arm. You can see Russell Wilson's ability to make plays, Andrew Luck's size. You can't necessarily see all Teddy Bridgewater does his stability, his maturity, his smarts, his reliability. He stabilized a young roster. He took that Adrian Peterson controversy in a young roster. And though he's limited physically, absolutely. Uh, he's not limited above the shoulders. He's not limited in accuracy. He's not limited in personality or dependability. And the Viking season won't be the same. In fact, the first four games of the year, they'll probably be underdogs in all of them. At Tennessee, Green Bay, Carolina, New York, they'll be pick em or underdogs now in all of those games. But here's the good news. Yes, Vegas has said they went from 14-1 and one to win the Super Bowl. They were actually one of those under-the-radar Super Bowl teams, 14-1. to one. Good roster, good running game, good coach. Now they're 35-1, to one, so they're not the same team. But here's actually the good news if you're a Vikings fan. This is not losing Aaron Rodgers for the year. This is not losing Andrew Luck. This is not losing Cam or Big Ben. Okay? Aaron Rodgers is worth 7.5 to 8 points a game. You lose Aaron Rodgers, season over. Because most NFL games are decided by less than a touchdown. Tony Romo, according to Vegas, is worth about five and a half to six points. You lose Tony Romo, and you're going to be a significantly different team. Teddy Bridgewater, according to Vegas, and when it happened yesterday, my gut feeling was he's worth about a field goal. He's a lower-tier franchise quarterback. He's worth a field goal. By the way, they won two games last year by a field goal. So he won them games. But if you take a... Vegas has him as a a three-and-a-half-point player. That's it. So franchise quarterbacks come in all tiers. Minnesota is now going to be, according to Vegas, a field goal and half a point less. All right. Last year, Minnesota was in seven games decided by a touchdown or less. But they were only in two games. They only won a couple of them by three or fewer. So the season's not over. So... I am now making my third amendment. You gave me the power. Actually, I demanded it, that if I was going to do NFL predictions, I had until the first week of the year. And so with my NFL third amendment, I amended the Cowboys. I amended the 49ers. It's not man overboard for Minnesota. Here's my amendment. The division now changes. I take two wins for the Minnesota Vikings, nine and seven. They're now seven and nine. I give those wins one to the Bears and one to the Lions. The Bears and the Lions still stink, and the Packers are still great. Minnesota then in my playoff picture just misses the playoffs, and Washington, who I had at eight and eight, remains eight and eight, but that eight and eight will get them in the playoffs. The NFC is very, very good at the top. It gets really average and thin in the middle and the bottom. It's a little like the Big Ten. I like the top three or four teams. After that, it gets pretty thin. It gets pretty average. So I don't think it's man overboard for the Vikings. I think they have a lot of good qualities, and Bridgewater is not transformative. They'll still be viable. They'll win mostly home games. That's not a very good division. They have a chance to still be in the playoff picture. The good news is Bridgewater is not Aaron Rodgers. Mike Zimmer's the head coach. Tough day for the Vikings.